Good morning, everybody, and welcome to Expeditions Full Tarot. My name's Brandon. Again, it's raining outside, so today I'm, I'm doing the video from my meditation spot. Uh, Lightworkers card pull for the day. We'll get right into it, everybody. Um, today, we've got the... Let me make sure it shows up here. There we go. The Nine of Swords. Um, so we've been getting a lot of swords lately. There's a lot of stuff going on in the world, uh, especially, you know, um, anybody in America, things like that. Um, there, there is a lot of turmoil and things going on, I know, across the, the world, you know, COVID, everything. Um, and a lot of these fears and everything is what we're experiencing. That's, that's these right here. And these fears and, and all of the things that, the, the dramas that are trying to pull you in and everything like that, they just add to these. Um, now what this is, is basically it's building a cage for yourself. It's building a cage in 3D, it's building a cage for your consciousness. Um, it's not allowing it to expand past that fear-based mentality when we get stuck by these. Um, the cool thing is, is especially with this Marseille deck that I'm using here, um, in this particular one, if you can see that sword right there. Now that sword, uh, sword could definitely cut through those, right? But it's the flat face of the sword against it right now. You can't cut through things like with the flat face of a sword, with the broad side of the sword, you know what I mean? Um, so what this is indicating, you know, swords being thoughts, this is indicating that you need to take that sword that's hitting against those thoughts like this and causing all that suffering, causing all that pain, that, that fear-based mentality, that mind intelligence instead of heart intelligence. What you gotta do is take that sword, take your perceptions and shift them. So if you're hitting against all of your obstacles like this in fear and it's not working, shift your perspective and you'll cut right through. You'll cut through the anxieties, the fears, the worries, etc. Fear and love can't stay in the same place. Um, if you truly truly love, not what a lot of people consider love, um, but if you truly love something, um, there, there's, there's no fear in that. You're not afraid of losing it. You're, there's no attachments with that. That's true love. Um, so when you truly are in that, that aspect, fear can exist. So if you just shift your sword from fear-based mentality, mind intelligence, to heart intelligence, you will cut through those anxieties, those worries, those doubts, all of those things that you know a lot of a lot are forcing on you right now. They're forcing to you. That way, you are able to get into a mindset of you know a lower vibration. That's not what us light workers want. You know, um, I'm not saying anybody's wrong for any of their past because it'll all lead to realization. You know, it's just a matter of how long. Um, but us as light workers, we're we're cognizant of that change that we need to make, and we feel it more um, when we're not making those changes because it's kind of like the universe's way of inspiring us to really come through um, and learn through those lessons. And how do we learn? We learn through pain. We learn through challenges, things like that. Um, so I hope everybody has a great day. I hope we're able to switch that sword from fear-based mentality to love and really cut through those blocks and those cages that are keeping us blocked up. Um, I hope everybody's feeling wonderful today. Maybe got some exercises in. I got mine done. Um, obviously, I <laughs> just finished my meditation sitting here. Um, so I, I wish everybody the best out there. If anybody uh, wants to schedule a reading with me, I do have some, some available today, um, as well as later on in the week, the weekend, things like that. I can get you scheduled. Just contact me and we'll set that rate up for you. All right, everybody. Thank you very much and have a great day on purpose.